Hey everybody and welcome back. My name is Tsuki and this is the darkest of the dungeons. In the last episode we did a little bit of a scout a mission and a little bit of a scout uh, skirmish uh, a, a mission. And uh, we did quite well in both of them. Came back and uh, yeah, our people are slightly perturbed by the events that they saw as you can see over here. Um... So, we also unlock the sanitarium. Now, over here, the sanitarium is most often used to remove negative quirks and treat diseases. And like I have to say, most often, like, when that's literally the only thing that you can do here. Um, there's two slots, basically, if you drag somebody in there, you can see a list of their quirks. You can reinforce these ones, meaning they won't change, but that's... Uh, obviously way too much money um and then you can pay some cash to remove these ones but that's also like way 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 too much money um or you can drag them over here if they have diseases but this guy doesn't have any diseases so obviously that's you'll see a little like plague icon at the bottom of their names if they have diseases um which they none of my people have thankfully so it's not something that I care about. I can upgrade some stuff here, but I think I've already indicated where my focus is going to lie. I can actually get this now. Because I have upgraded these two, I believe. Yes. Okay, so what do I need to get this to the next level? I need 12 crests. Um, let's see if I can figure this out. I want to pay heads. What's this? Busts. Okay. But how many? I need 12. Uh, okay. Just enough. But of an exchange that you can do there. Don't get confused. I always think that this is the one that you're going to get. And this is what you're paying. But no, that's that's not the case. You're paying this. And the little arrow points to you to what you're going to be getting. Okay, so let's get that. Great heroes can be found even here. In the mud and rain. Okay, so this just basically means um, that Heroes of Resolve level 1 will sometimes appear. So this little zero here will be a 1. And the important thing that this is, it doesn't only save you their levels and stuff like that. They will literally show up with all of their skills unlocked and upgraded one level as well as their weapons will be, will be unlocked as well. So if you go here and you drag them in, all of their skills will be unlocked as well as on level 1 as well as their armor and weapons will be at the first level so that is why i personally think it's very important to get that going as soon as we can all right so we do not have a leper um in our midst so i'm going to grab ourselves a leper this man understands that adversity and existence are one and the same <laughs> They are pretty heavy damage dealers. Um, 8 to 16 damage with their weapons. And they're a little bit of a weird mixed bag. Like, uh, they're somewhat... They're not very fast and they're not meant for dodging. So they're kind of tanky. They're one of those uh, people that like to be in the first one of the first two slots. Um, uh, but, yeah. Okay. Let's take care of our people first. Let's go to the tavern. Let's see, carrots, you need a little bit of attention. Go have a drink. Um, I will only pray and chance I know where you want to go. <laughs> Enjoy your time. Me, um, I apparently like to play. Play? Pray. So here we go. Okay. Which means we have some gold left. Um, we have some things that we can sell. This is a nice one. But this one I don't like as much. I'm going to be selling this one. Just to get some cash back. I'll keep this one just because it doesn't have any negatives to go with the positive. Which is generally what, the things that I tend to keep. Everything in this game has a trade in trade off. Whatever. Alright. Daniel. You're still doing well. Okay. This is leveled up enough that the other places have also unlocked for us. I hate the Warrens the most. I honestly don't like this place. Darkest Dungeon is where we're going to be going once we have a party comprised out of six or level six people entirely. Which is not going to be now. It's going to be way, way in the future. 
I don't know what that means, but okay. Um, so right now we can go do a medium mission, which I think I should introduce you guys to what medium missions look like. Mm, this is for a Vestal. Some deeds and nice cash. We have to explore 90% of rooms. Well, this is a skirmish, this is a skirmish, and this is a skirmish. Um, I'd like to focus on the ruins for now. Uh, I'm gonna rename this guy to Peter, cause I, th I don't, I'm not sure if he watches, but there you go, Mozart. You will be Ryan. Okay, then we've got... I don't know any... Like, I know carrots. And that's about it. I don't know any... I'm not even sure if I have any female watchers. I doubt it. Okay. Um, and that's the people who have asked me to be in the game so far. Mm, I might as well. Okay. So, alright, let us get a team together. It's always nice having him here. He deals a, a nice little bit of damage up front. But I really, really like the Helion. The Helion is probably one of my favorite classes. Outright. So you'll be in there. You're the highwayman. I don't have that much of a need for you. We really do need a healer, though. Without a healer, things are going to get tough. But there was a healer, an additional healer over here, but yeah, it's fine. A sister of battle, pious and unrelenting. Of course. Okay, um, I'm going to just make sure her skills are correct. Yeah, I don't want those. I want this one and this one. All right. Let's embark. I will. I don't like those two. This is my ideal setup for her. So get you in there. Um, don't have place for you, sadly. Okay, I guess we'll bring Nero along as well. I don't like, I, I really don't like the Jester as much. They just, they like to bounce around too much. Like this one moves him forward by three. This ability um, moves him back by three. This moves him forward by one. Um, it's, I, I don't know. I don't feel good, but okay. The Hellhounds. <laughs> Okay, so we are going to go on our first long mission. I don't have an arbalist, unfortunately, so let's get going. Firewood and camping, yes. They basically just say, we'll have this firewood unit. If you right-click on it, it starts the camping thing. Medium, so I'll take not that much, but about like that. Three shovels, two keys, enough torches. And then one of each of these. Okay. We should make the bank back, so don't worry about that. Let's keep going. Pace out the halls of your lineage once familiar. Now, Oren. Okay, this is probably one of the worst starts. Because this means there's going to be a lot of backtracking. Sadly. So we'll go around like this. And then come back. There's no way around it. This is a crappy start. Uh, or we just go straight come back like this. Okay. Do it this way then. Uh, I would like you to get the buff. This will always give a nice 20 damage buff. And she does stupid amounts of damage. 25 gold. Everybody, stand back. 
Okay, I'm not sure there's a battle in here, so I'll just top up my light and let's go in. Okay, nothing in here. And no scouting either. Yes, yes. Glittering gold. Look at that, and now he's taking it. Paid for in blood. I hate that. That is... Kleptomaniac. Nice. That is obviously a trait that is not very... Why didn't you access this thing? A partially intact set of experimental equipment. Now, what do you guys think? Medicinal herbs? Let's try that. Oh. Okay. There you go. Pop a torch, and in we go. Nothing. Okay, so we can scout at least. Okay, so there's gonna be a fight over there. Forward. I don't have a... I can use a key, I think. Yes. And another one. Ooh, that's a nice, nice little bit of money. Okay, so we have no keys left, unfortunately. Getting some good scouting done. Okay, so we're gonna have our first battle in the room up ahead. Highwaymen are good at disarming traps. And that gives them a little bit of a stress boost as well. Alright. Light it up. Let's kick some ass. Okay. I'd like to give him a little bit of a boost. Buff at first. You. That's a nice stun for these guys. However, it debuffs her. So she's much easier to hit now. Which is fine. We're just gonna focus on healing her the most. Your stress is already... It looks like it's more than half, right? Like half... 64 out of 200 should be here. <laughs> anyway. Um, can't hit back there. Can't, can't, can't. Okay. Let's go for this guy. Okay, heal up. These guys have very high speed, that's why they're always going first. Gotta bleed this guy. He has... Oh, he resisted it. He's a skeleton. I forgot. I'm sorry. My bad. Gonna stun... It's too late to stun these guys now, and you have stun resistance. So maybe... I'm just gonna go for straight damage. Disadvantage. Give them no quarter. Okay, you... Deal less damage. This guy's got big prod, so... Okay, hopefully we can just murder you. There you go. formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Uh, do you have anything that clears corpses? No. And this pushes you forward, so let's not do that. Did I just stun the corpses? Nice. I thought that did damage at least. These guys are just annoyances. It's chasing up. Yeah, nice dodge. So... As the fiend falls... A faint hope blossoms. And then he's gonna go first. Dude. You only have, like, half of your stress. Why are you freaking out? Unless they start freaking out at 100 already. And 200 is just, you know, you die. Corpses are kind of an annoyance. Not gonna lie. Alright. Give everybody a bit of a heal. 
murder. Executed with impunity. Oh. Crusader, that's me. Or not me, Daniel. Okay, so plus fifteen percent damage, ten to minus ten to healing skills. You don't have any healing skills, do you? You are a crusader. Yeah. All right. We're gonna go over here just to skip that battle. That's fine. We have more than enough food. Eat away. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. As we traveled from the hamlet, an eerie dread grew. We all felt it, but did our best to shrug it off. Sleep was difficult until Reven, one of my companions, passed me a bitter concoction. The most devout of us, Ethereon, prayed softly for our safety. Superstitious, but well-intentioned, I suppose. I am already falling asleep. I don't think we need this. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think we need to carry those pages with us. Okay, and now the long backtrack. Which is annoying, because I only brought enough torches for so many rooms. Oh, a battle popped up here. How nice. That's something that happens. Okay, let's light it up. Eh? Oh, they're surprised. Well, too bad, I guess. Too bad for them. Stun. Oh, one resisted. They don't have lots of HP, so this will go pretty quick. The onslaught. Destroy them all. A trifling victory. But a victory, but a victory nonetheless. 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 Sounds like you said nonetheless. But a victory nonetheless. Yeah. Wow, okay. That was a little quick. Hopefully it doesn't keep happening again. I need at least eight food when we rest. I'm not gonna torch up this time, I don't think we need to. Oh, they're still surprised. No funny business. Another abomination cleansed from our land. He's gonna straight up murder you. Oh really? Really? He's not gonna bleed, so. Still gonna die. Be gone, fiend. <laughs> I love this guy's voice. Be gone, fiend. Ooh. Alright, another battle coming up. I'm just gonna keep the torch in this area, more or less. Ooh. Stun. Back Ooh. to the pit. Back to the pit. Damn, I missed your eyes. Uh, yeah, sure. Might as well. Another one falls. And on Remind we go. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. I don't have anything to deal with this, so I'm gonna skip it. Okay, now we have to be careful because we didn't get a scout. Oh, I did not see that trap. Curious is the trap maker's art. His efficacy unwitnessed by his own eyes. His efficacy. What could be in here? Ah. Ooh, all right. We're getting lucky surprise rolls. Um, yes, always, always useful to get that stun. Do we have, yeah, let's start out with the blue. This is a skeleton? Oh, god damn it, this is not a skeleton. <laughs> Excuse me, that was nasty. Um, nothing fancy about you, so just die. I want you to not move. Okay, but you're still gonna move.
<laughs> wow, and then you go first. Ye bastard. This cannot con Just relax, dude. I was gonna like start asking if their whole team is gonna go first. Surges as the enemy crumbles. No, I'm gonna have to shoot you. Hmm. Just kill him. Nice! Nice hit! Nice hit! Always expect the dice to forsake you when you absolutely need them. I hate not having anybody to hit the back ranks. Which is why um, the Helion has this ability that only hits the back slot. Iron Swan. I should have gotten that. Oh well, it's fine. You're also a skeleton? Wow. Well, okay, you have a big dodge chance. Unfortunately, I do not have a key for this thing, so there's a good chance it's going to hurt me. Yep. Good. And I don't have... Oh, I do have anti -venom. Okay. I'm going to use our firewood here because this is a good time, I guess. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so this introduces the camping a thing. Without kindling is a goal without hope. Eight food, which is going to cure nice lots of stress and heal them all up. Which means I can now give them a zealous speech, which will reduce everybody's stress levels. Then, and like this is now where everybody also has additional quests. Or not quests, but ability that they can spend. This is important because it's going to stop us from being ambushed at night. Where this is important because everybody's pretty stressed, so we can gain, regain some stress. This is nice, but it gives us a nasty debuff. Even though this recovers even more. Even more stress. I might actually use this one instead. The negatives aren't going to be as bad. Bandit sense prevents nightmare ambush. Nighttime. Okay. I think I'll use that instead of this one. Okay, so let's start with that. With my ear to the road, none shall surprise us. Then everybody get drunk. <laughs> Yay. Okay, so we only have a certain amount of respite time to do stuff. So now I guess I can spend that to lower their stress some more, which is just good in the long run. Clean guns, that's just a buff. That's just a blessing. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to do this one then as well. Good. Forget not that our errand is holy and just. Light will prevail. And then we can rest. I am blessed with good health. For today at least. It looks bad, but there's nothing to fear here. We've used our last log, so that's the state of things. Our provisions run low. This journey best not last much longer. The light. The promise of safety. Good. Pack contains loot. I am become vengeance. All cultists will feel my mace. Brigands fear my roar. I am outnumbered, tis true. I am starved and half mad. But as long as there is breath in my body, I will press on. I will wreak unbearable agony on those who would seek to despoil my great manse. And now they come. I douse my torch. I do not fear the darkness. This is my house. And woe to the uninvited. Fascinating. Another journal page. 
My fears are confirmed. With our torch doused by an errant spray of seawater, we are ambushed. Strange fish-like hominids ambushed us in the sudden darkness. The pitch of the torch caught quickly and I glimpsed scaly appendages swinging crude weapons, glistening and barbed. They didn't last long with our torch rekindled. Alas, one bit me in the neck before I gutted it. The wound stings and tingles strangely. Our psychic told me to keep it clean and covered. Interesting. Psychics are doctors now, I guess? No battle. Good. Moving on. Uh, okay. There's a 50-50% chance of this working out. Okay, good. Kleptomaniac quirk. Okay, good. So Daniel isn't going to be stealing everything anymore. No fight. All right. I think we have one room left. <clears throat> That's the last of our food. You can use items directly from here, by the way. I think this is the last room. And we're done! Secret rooms? I would love to go to a secret room. But the thing is, the secret room inside of it um, has a chest that you need to use a key on. I mean, we can go back and go check it out. And basically, this just means that this is a tile that you press up on. And then there's a chest. That's it. But without a key, I'm only going to get a little bit of stuff. If I had a key, that would have doubled or maybe tripled. It's still useful to check it out, though. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't want to stick around anymore. So, yeah, let's head back to base. The great ruins belong to us. And we will find whatever secrets they hold. Okay, so we made about uh, 15 grand. On this mission. Not bad, eh? And, okay. We've got our first level 2 resolves. Let's see what they get. Okay. Early riser. Beast hater. You have zoophobia. Stress versus beast. And prone to investigate the dark arts. Jeez. Daniel. Relax. <laughs> Unholy slayer. Near is early riser. No, he's not. <laughs> He was one of my old roommates, and uh, he was definitely not an early riser. Uh, okay, and... Alright. Women and men, soldiers and outlaws, fools and corpses. All will find their way to us now that the road is clear. Okay, so this is one of those town events that I was talking about. There's a chance every week that one of these events will happen, and they're usually beneficial. I've not seen a negative one yet in my offline play. So, hear ye, hear ye, word of our predicament has spread, and a new crop of aspiring corpses <laughs> step up from the straight coast. So, there's six more recruits than usual this time. Um, chance has experienced undreamt of pleasures and refuses to leave the brothel yet. <laughs> Okay, that means he's going for a second week of staying in the brothel without me spending money on it. If they were extremely stressed, that might have been a good thing, because that usually means that they are completely clean. Um, this is, of course, it's like art imitates reality. <laughs> All right, Carrots drank herself back into reasonable stress levels, and then I prayed and recovered some stress. The survivalist, which is this guy back here, is the last place that we have. And the nomad wagon is the place in front where we can buy some trinkets, I believe. Yes. Trinkets and charms gathered from all the forgotten corners of the earth. These are way too expensive, though, so for what they give me, so I don't care about these so much. I, I rarely buy stuff here. At home in wild places, she is a stalwart survivor. And a strict instructor. Which is nice. Here you can train your people to unlock other different... Not better necessarily, because it's like a side grade, not an up or down grade. Like, none of these are necessarily good 
or better or worse than any of the other ones. Uh, let's see if we have any people that we'd like. A grave digger. I don't have a grave digger yet. Let's upgrade the stagecoach to, or no, the barracks. But I need some of these. I just want to be able to hold a slightly bigger roster. Yeah, sure, why not? Great heroes can be found even here, in the mud and rain. Okay, so grave diggers are great, and then we have uh, we've got a bandit and then uh, an abomination as well. These two are also pretty great. And finally, an arbalist. Arbalist is a lady that has a crossbow. This is a a dude that turns into a werewolf. Like, his weapon is a mutation. It's pretty badass, if you ask me. Uh, even though they're, they're resolve level 1, so I'm going to be skipping them. I think we've got a good amount of people to draw from right now. In my offline play, I have, like, four of these uh, Vestals. Oh, is this... Are they called Vestals? 8 speed in the first round, plus 1 speed after the first round. But that minus 25% skill chance, though, kind of puts me off. So yeah, I'm going to grab the Gravedigger. To those with a keen eye, gold gleams like a dagger's point. Oh yeah. Okay, I don't think we have anything else to upgrade yet. So yeah, our resources are kind of low. I might just sell this, actually. I've got tons of gold now. Which is... Um, I'm not going to embark just yet, but I'm going to check... Uh, our main team consists out of Daniel. And uh, Carrots. Myself. And Chance. Uh, however, he is... Uh, indisposed unfortunately uh, I'm just checking because I wanna I wanna go and spend a little bit of cash on them so let's get you a better longsword so we go from a battered longsword to a fancy normal longsword and from rusty hardwork to chainmail okay carrots you lose the rusted mace and you get a steady mace. And uh, you get some armor as well. It's actually more important to upgrade your skills. That's fine though. I will get myself a sturdy cudgel. And a stitch leather vest. Now, chance is busy. Indisposed. And this is about as low as I'm willing to go with my cash. And I'll just sell this. That's fine. Just so I can get carrots in here and upgrade her healing skills a little bit. That's really it. Eventually we'll like to we'd like to spend cash to upgrade everybody's abilities. I'll upgrade these two. Car dog. Wow, that's a big buff. Blackjack is a stun. I'd actually like that over the target whistle. Uh, this just increases the accuracy. This increases the stun base. Yes. Okay. Guys, that's going to be it for now. I appreciate a like and a comment. I'd appreciate even more if you guys would tap that sub button. Most of all, thanks for enjoying Darkest Dungeon with me. And uh, I will see you all in the next episode.